to the channel you guys welcome back to ironclad rc i'm big b thank you guys for riding with me this is like my the second part to a two-part series that i'm doing about rudders and how rudders affect the boat handling and performance all right today we're going to be testing each of these rudder blades on this delta force 23 with a gps getting speed how fast it goes with each rudder blade. The previous video, we tested each rudder blade minus the long one here, which we'll test today. We tested each of these four rudder blades performance wise. And uh, I was kind of shocked at how, how it changed the performance of the boat, the handling of the boat. Uh, this is the original rudder that I've been using on the boat. All right. And has some skip in the corners. Basically, the whole reason I'm trying this whole experiment is to try to get rid of the bounce in the corners with the small turn fins. The boat don't bounce at all in the corners with the large turn fins, all right? But I wanna see if there's anything else I could do to fix it. I'm gonna show you each rudder, kind of what it looks like on the boat before we go, all right? Uh, comment, leave a comment on which rudder you think will do the best speed wise all right i have knife blades wide angle straight blade long blade and original blade all right so this is the original what it looks like on the boat all right that's pretty much the angle that it has all right kick back on the leading edge and that actually has an angle on the trailing edge all right uh, pay attention to where the pivot point is and where the rudders are in relation to the pivot point because it makes a big big difference all right, so this one, straight down, straight down, straight down in the back into the water, flat bottom, basically in line with the bottom of the boat, all right? Um, the pivot point, it almost, the leading edge almost reaches the pivot point there, okay? Uh, this is my wide angled rudder, all right? The pivot point, the, the leading edge goes past the pivot point, all right? Or in line with the pivot point, very wide. Actually, the only thing I changed on this rudder was the bottom angle. It had a, too much of an angle, uh, causing too much uh, transom lift. All right, we got a knife blade rudder. All right, this one actually handled the best out of them all the other day. Well, mm, with, with the small turn fins, this one handled the best. It's way behind the pivot point on the rudder. Super thin compared to the other blades. All right, see I sharpened them up super sharp i got them buffed up and um yeah yeah i think they're going to perform a little bit better today uh, this is the long one that i didn't try last time i think that this boat the rudder may be too short for this boat when it's in a turn the rudder is actually coming out the water causing the skip i want to see if this will help in the corners with the small turn fin very interested in this and how this one's going to perform i just got done making it these three kind of go you know protrude up to the pivot point on the rudder right here all right these three right here do and then these two are actually back past the pivot point so um leave a comment and let me know what you guys think which one you think is going to have the best speed personally i think the knife edge blade will have the best speed i'm sure a lot of you guys will agree with me maybe these little shims that i'll put in one's thin one's thick and we'll kind of slide the rudder blade in there and tighten it down so that I'm, I'm not like hacking it you know <laughs> you guys at the pond don't forget to like comment subscribe i spent a lot of time making these videos uh put a lot of time and effort into them making the rudders changing it out so uh if you like what you're seeing please uh by all means hit the like button and subscribe we'll see you at the pond I got it zeroed out. Hopefully it stays on there. I think it was two miles an hour on it or something. But got the original rudder on the boat. All right, we're going to see how fast it goes. Got it on 4S, but I'm going to put it on 75 for every test. All right, that way I can get a good speed. I won't run my battery out. We're going to go in order, straight, uh, wide, knife edge, and the long one. All right, so let's get to it. Kind of a nasty day out here today. Like I said, I'm running on 75% on 4S. All right. I don't want to do full, like full 100% just because uh, I might wreck the boat. You know, we'll get a good accurate reading like this.
43 it's hard to see 43 with the original rudder on 75 percent 43 i'll add the link to this rudder in the description all right you guys i got the straight blade rudder on all right that's what it looks like on the boat straight blade I'm clearing out the gps we got 43 on the last run 75 percent Straight blade rudder. Oh wow, it's a nice straight line. Rudder don't need to be but about an inch and a half. Wow, actually did pretty good. Alright, so your rudder don't need to be but about an inch and a half below the water line or below the tip of your blade on your propeller. An inch and a half below the tip of your blade on your propeller. That's about how far a rudder needs to be in the water. 44. Wow. So, so 44 miles an hour with my custom rudder. One mile an hour faster than the original rudder. Huh? That's not bad. It's a lot thinner than the original rudder. Give another look at it before I take it off. Alright, that's what the, the wide blade rudder looks like. This is the widest blade I have, and it actually goes all the way up to the pivot point right there. You see that? So, uh, the, the last rudder actually uh, looked like it lifted the front of the boat up. Alright, and that's what this one looks like compared to that guy. It actually, this blade here, the last one, actually lifted the whole boat up out the water, more so than the first one. This is a wider rudder it creates a lot of drag and uh when you're running your boat look at how the rooster tail's coming off the rudder and stuff and it'll tell you how much drag's on the boat whoa almost hit the ducks all right here we go with the wide blade rudder a lot of bounce it actually flattened the boat out yeah she's riding on the front front keel it's actually pushing the boat down. Yeah, a lot of drag, a lot of drag. So let's see how this one did. So 43, 44, 41, 41 miles an hour with the wide blade. I knew this one was gonna be slower and I've got it tapered off nice. That's the knife blade rudder. All right, like I said, I think this one was gonna be the fastest or it might be the slowest because it's so thin, it might have a lot of vibration in the water. Because it's so thin. You know, it's really thin. All right, so 75%. All right, so here's the knife blade. Yeah, you guys, comment. All right, full tilt with the knife blade. A lot of, lot of bounce. A lot of bounce. I think it's got some vibration. The whole boat's actually going back and forth. Yes, it's probably vibrating in the water, you know, uh, slapping back and forth, causing the boat to, to run wild. So this is the most squirrely rudder blade I've got. The boat's actually squirrely as hell. Oh, 44. So it's actually the same speed as the straight rudder, 44 miles an hour, all right? So now let's put the long rotor blade on. We'll do a speed pass and then I want to do some handling passes with this blade. I'm interested to see how it performs. So uh, knife blade shape, all right. The long rudder and how it looks on the boat. So I think this one might be the slowest of them all because it's so long, all right. 75%. Okay, so it's it's not helping the it's not helping the turn. A lot of times your rudder if, if it's skipping out in a corner like that, your rudder your rudder's too short, you know? Alright, so let's get a speed. Wow, you see that? Wow, that's the most bounce I've had so far. Wow, it don't even turn good. Yeah. Oh wow. That's the that's the worst rudder we got. Oh shit, my GPS is on top. <laughs>
39, 39. It is the slowest, 39, all right? Back when gas engines, gassers, RC boat, gas boats were, were the thing, guys used rudder blades, and they still do to this day, to tune their boat, all right? Um, I knew a guy back home that had over a hundred different rudder blades made, all right? Um, with a couple of different brackets, long brackets, short brackets, kind of like this, and he could uh, change his rudder belt just like I did today, and, and uh, change, he didn't even run turn fins, he didn't run trim tabs, uh, you know, and he could, he could change the ride of his boat, like, like with with a snap of a finger. You know what I'm saying? So that's the nice thing about rudders. You can actually tune your boat without having all this extra hardware. You know what I'm saying? Rudder, rudder, tuning a boat with a rudder is a, uh, it's an old school trick, and uh, and it takes a, a you know trial and error to get it right. Yeah, so yeah, the 44 I think and i think this one was 44 okay so the knife blade and the straight edge all right um with the big turn fins the original rudder i'm using actually handled the best hands down uh, with the small turn fins the knife edge rudder handled the best um, so this one the straight edge all right it was second best of over all of them, my opinion. This guy right here, okay. Um, it actually kept the bow up on the boat, and and the boat actually rode, rode pretty good, fairly good, with this guy here. Uh, this one, it actually pushed the bow of the boat down so much that it was porpoising like crazy, okay. The knife blade, um, it handled pretty good, especially with the, the small turn fins on, the knife blade handled good, but straightaway speed, it, I think there was some vibration or, or movement on it, and I had it shimmed up and tightened down pretty good. There was some kind of vibration, so the next knife edge I make may be stainless steel. Um, harder to work with, but it should be a little more uh, rigid than a piece of aluminum. The rudder bracket, uh, I got it from Offshore Electrics. Um, it's a, it's I think it's a single engine Guinness uh, rudder bracket and in rudder blade okay um it has a pickup on it all right one single pickup that i actually i cut the rudder off make it shorter and and i just uh and i had i did away with the the water pickup on the rudder altogether so i can actually uh run and test different rudder blades and and, and kind of further my knowledge about boats so it's really nice having external pickups and they don't really create no drag. So the next, uh, I think the next tuning video with this boat, I may um, show you guys how much drag these things produce, like put them down in the water, uh, how much slower the boat will go if they're down too low, how much faster the boat will go if they're, you know, dialed in perfect. But um, but this boat, it's it's that's basically why I built the boat is to do, uh, to do videos like this because this is like an all-around platform boat it's similar to a lot of boats out there 23 inch range and um i mean you know i could try different things with it especially with uh the rudders you know having the water pickups uh mounted on the transom it, it really enables me to show you guys different parts of the boating hobby that you you typically wouldn't see with a um a water pickup style rudder so, I hope you guys enjoyed a lot of work going into this video a lot of work uh, making the rudders a lot of work uh, testing it's cold so <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it I hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching uh, don't forget to like comment subscribe uh, Big B with Ironclad RC we'll see you guys next time